Well, hello, boys and girls, all years, including adults, anybody who's interested in learning how to paint the bee, this beautiful bumblebee. What you need to do is to start off with a beautiful light blue colour. I call this cerulean blue. You've probably heard me talk about that many times. When I come into your school, we talk about cerulean blue, cadmium red, and of course, Payne's Grey. We will need another colour for this, and it's going to be the colour yellow. So we've got the cerulean blue, we've got the Payne's Grey, we have the cadmium red deep. Quite a nice shade, that. Let's take all these out of the way and just concentrate for a moment on the cadmium yellow. If you're using the tubes, just take a small amount. I always say it's about half the size of your little fingernail. We'll need some water, of course, because it is watercolours after all. So, using my little pipette here, it's rather like a straw, sucks the colour or that should say sucks the water up and then squeezes it back out again. Give that a good mix around. It takes, oh, about, I would say, around about 20 times mixing round until you get the consistency and the dilution of the colour. Let's just try that on a spare piece of paper. Yeah, I think that's fine. For the B, so we've got some yellow. We have here some of the red, cadmium red deep. That's very nice. Give my brush a good clean, and let's try. Let's try mixing around the Payne's grey. Does tend to stick to your brush, the Payne's grey. I usually wipe it on the side of my palette and Payne's Grey. So you can see it's got that blackish, greyish shade to it. And finally, shall we try the Cerulean Blue? I think that'll do. So We'll just move these to one side. Always make yourself comfortable when you're painting, whether it's at home or whether it's at school. You'll be aware I always give you a piece of kitchen roll. And on that kitchen roll, many of my helpers in school will help me put down the pencil and the paintbrush. This is a number six. I find this to be quite it's a good size brush to use and most of my paintings are you used um, with a number six are created with a number six I also use a number two paintbrush as well which is for a little bit more finer uh, detail so this is the finished bumblebee that I've spoken about previously. To begin, I cut a small piece of paper. Um, this is, um, is it, it's a few centimeters. Let's have a little measure there. Approximately, let's see, approximately five centimeters by approximately four centimeters roughly but it doesn't matter you can make it smaller you can make it larger the idea is just to have fun just to enjoy yourself and make mistakes if you don't make mistakes you're never going to learn I make mistakes every day you'll see even in this uh, presentation this video I'll be making mistakes and then I'll learn from those mistakes try to in improve Nobody can go through life without making mistakes, and that's how we improve. As long as we try and keep trying, 
and as I have said previously there is no uh, special way of learning it's simply the secret if there is a secret at all is simply to practice the more you practice whether it's the piano whether it's gymnastics football singing whatever the more you practice then the better you will get what I've done here as you can see I have prepared a piece of um, paper already and I did paint that over with a wash of cerulean blue so all I did I took my cerulean blue and washed over so it's literally like washing the pots after tea or wiping water or whatever. on this occasion it's watercolour it's blue watercolour and I just make sure that you get to the edge if you want it completely covered but it doesn't really matter so I would allow that now to dry I can come back to that later when it's dry but for the sake of time this one has already dried I'm also going to get ready a strip of tissue paper you've seen me use this tissue paper many times before if I visited your school if I haven't visited your school please invite me in and I'll try and come along I do go to a lot of schools and I will try to visit yours if invited small strip of kitchen roll not expensive scrunch it up and make a snowball for a mouse I call it a snowball for a mouse because it's such a tiny tiny piece of tissue and we'll use this to make some uh, dabbing out on our picture when it is re-wetted you'll see the idea I'm sure that when I've been to your school in the past I've used this perhaps to make clouds on a blue wetted sky area I put this to one side now my pencil I'm using here a 2B yes a 2B pencil and it's slightly darker than a HB which you will usually use in school the HB you'll probably recognize it's more like this it's usually the yellow and black whereas this is this is the red and black and it's a slightly softer darker lead you may want to invest in one not very expensive but they really work well particularly when I need to use it to help the image stand out so let's begin then I'm going to copy the shape of the bumblebee remember that it's your picture if it goes wrong you can always erase or rub out there's no problem there's nothing wrong with using an eraser because that is going to help you rather like stabilizers on a bicycle it helps you just to get the correct balance or the correct position so here we go creating a sort of shape that's a little bit roundish and really that is all I need can you believe that that was a lot of drawing wasn't it not really it was easy maybe I could have made that a little bit lower because I'm going to put some of the bees wings in later what would it, what would it look like if I turned it that way would that work yeah okay I made a little mistake there should have done it lower so I just turned it round made it that way instead now what I can do is take a clean damp brush so I've just dipped this into water and it's clean and it's damp and I could lift lift some of this color out so I'm just slightly making this area of the bees body damp take my snowball for a mouse there we go it's now a nice dry lightish area for me to start and um, get some of the detail of the bee 
uh, I think I might begin with some of the yellow but instead of it just staying yellow I think I'll add some red red and yellow make quite correct red and yellow make orange a little bit of orange on the bee's body fabulous that you really good perhaps a little bit more there and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take my brush again I'm going to clean it wipe it almost dry and now I can create the suggestion of the bees flapping or buzzing wings there's one dab slightly damp brush again and here's the second one dab with my little piece of tissue oh looking good I think I need now to put some details I could do the detail of the legs hanging in the air I'm wiping my paintbrush slightly to a fine point almost as though I was using a pencil or a felt tip pen just to a fine point look at all that I've wiped off I've still got a lot on the brush look lots and lots still on the brush now I can hold the silver furrow the silver part of the brush and with the tips of my fingers I could just try and paint in maybe one little leg there and another little leg what about some antennae fantastic and now the suggestion of its head I've tried to leave a little tiny tiny white dot to suggest its eye and here's some other aspects of its head looking really good you've got to give yourself encouragement that's what it's all about isn't it encouraging yourself believing in yourself it does not have to be perfect I think I need another leg sort of coming around a little bit there a mm, bit too far so magic tissue dab off a little bit and then maybe not make it that's better not making it come down quite so far oh it looks like it's flying I think I need now a little bit more Payne's grey on my brush and I can start to paint in a little bit of its body don't worry if some of the Payne's grey black slightly merges into the orange because that's all part of it wow not bad at all just going over some little bits here and there don't want to lose its eye because I think its eye this little part here makes it the bumblebee what about now what we could do with is maybe around here the suggestion of some flowers maybe a little bit of red maybe a little bit of blue added on top of the red blue and red should go slightly slightly purplish maybe I'll start with a little bit of the blue again down here I've got to hold that still with my thumb it's such a little painting it's flying into the flowers now I'm taking a little bit more red let the red and the blue slightly mix together well washing my brush clean I think that my little picture of a bee is complete look I've got two now haven't I I've got one bee and another bee they're looking for somewhere to fly to they're looking to make honey so 
I hope that you've enjoyed this little demonstration. If you have, please tell your friends, please subscribe, please let me know that you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll be uploading some more very, very soon. So until we speak next time, take care, happy painting. Oh, and I must also remember to send you one golden wish. Are you ready? I put it in my hand. One, two, three, catch it, take it to your heart, and that's your golden wish. Bye for now.